Hi everybody, welcome to the Metamorphic Rock Lab. This is your last rock lab you're going to be doing for a while. We'll do some more at the end of the year before the Regents so that we can practice. But for now, we're done. And yes, we're as happy as you are that the rocks are done. This was not easy to do while on quarantine. All right, so just like the other rock labs we did, we are going to take these five rocks and use the reference table and identify the properties of some of these rocks and give them a name. Now, just like the other three you did, I have only chosen, chosen, only chosen, I think that's the right word, uh, five rocks off the reference table. One of these is nice. One of these is marble. We have slate, phyllite, and quartzite. So those are the five rocks we have here. So as you go along on the form, uh, keep that in mind because it's kind of like I gave you a word bank. You only have five choices. I would have done this even if it wasn't um, weird this year and doing this virtually because some of the rocks on the metamorphic rock chart are hard to identify. Well, some of them are easy, but some are pretty difficult. All right, so let's get started. So right away, so let me get rid of some of these. We'll start with this guy. So you have to, first thing you have to do, so this is going to be rock A. Uh, the first question it asks you, I believe that's question number five, says, is this foliated or non-foliated? So I think we should do a quick review. What does foliated mean? Foliated is when the rock has layers. So we have to decide, does this rock have layers? And looking at it this way, it's going to be pretty hard to tell. But when I turn it this way, yep, and it even shows up on camera, you should be able to see the layers on this rock. So this rock has layers. All right, now question six asks what type of foliation this is. Is it mineral alignment, banding, or non-foliated? I put a, uh, an option for that as well. So to remember, mineral alignment is when the minerals are just lined up. So just plain old regular layers, no alternating layers of color. While banding is the layers are alternating in color. So you decide, is this mineral alignment, banding, or non-foliated? Um, the next box down is actually already asking you the name of this rock. So we, like I said, we only have five choices. I gave you, um, if you look down your reference table, I gave you slate, phyllite, nice, quartzite, and marble. Those are the five I gave you. You should be able to eliminate some uh, based on whether it's foliated or non-foliated. So cross off or imagine, or imagine yourself crossing off the ones that uh, don't match up with this. Um, and then you should be left with only a few. Um, there is some giveaways to some of the rocks. Um, I do want to point something out, and you might want to look down the comments section. Look how sparkly this rock is, especially if I compare it to some of the other ones. Uh, that one's a little sparkly, too. Here, let's throw this one up there. Look how sparkly this one is. It's, it looks like it's almost made out of glitter. So that's a hint for you. You might want to look down the comments section. So this is rock A. One last box for rock A is composition. Now that you know what rock A is, just head on over to the composition column in your reference table and you'll be able to tell me what minerals are inside this rock. So that's rock A. We're gonna move on to rock B. Rock B is this white one. So rock B, when you look at it and you're gonna ask yourself, is it foliated or non-foliated? You should be looking for layers. This one's kind of hard to see on this white background, so let me pull up a different color background here. Did that help? Yeah, it helped a little. So this one we're going to be looking for, is it foliated or non-foliated? Let you guys make that opinion. So is it foliated or non-foliated? Go ahead and pause this if you need to. So now that it, you've decided is it foliated or non-foliated, you go over to the type of foliation. Again, just like last time, there are three choices, mineral alignment, banding, or non-foliated. So you gotta decide which one is this. I'll give you a good, good view of each side. All right, so now that you know if this is foliated or non-foliated, we, we're already to the rock name, but before we get there, this is something you are missing out on, and I don't even have a way of showing you this in class, uh, it, on, on virtually because I don't have any acid to test this with. But I'm going to give you a huge hint here. Rock B, 
if I was to drop some hydrochloric acid on it, this rock would bubble. That should sound familiar because when we learned about minerals, hint, the back page of the reference table, we learned that one of the rocks will bubble, one of the minerals will bubble with acid. And this rock will also bubble with acid. So hopefully that gives you a hint. But again, make sure you're only looking at the ones I gave you. So you should only be checking out slate, phyllite, nice, quartzite, and marble. Those are your only choices. So go ahead and check out that. The big hint for this one is it will bubble with acid. Again, that's rock B. Moving on to rock C, it's one of my favorites. I actually think it's one of the easiest rocks to look at. Oh, let me get rid of the, I think this background will help for this one. All right, so this is one of my favorites. You gotta decide, is it foliated or non-foliated? And mo many of you can tell by just looking at it this way, but I'll turn it this way too. So hopefully you can see if whether this is foliated or non-foliated. And moving on to the next box, is this mineral alignment? banding, or non-foliated. So hopefully you see these zebra stripes. That should be a big hint for you, zebra stripes. So now that you know that th which, uh, now that you know that if this is, uh, I'm sorry, I'm stuck on my, stuck on my words here. So hopefully now you know if this is foliated, non-foliated, mineral alignment, or banding, you should actually be able to name this one pretty easily. Again, the big hint here are those zebra stripes. Moving on to this one. So this is going to be rock D. So rock D, we're looking to see is it foliated or non-foliated. Again, I'll turn it around for you to see. Do you see any foliation? Honestly, I think this one's going to be pretty hard to identify if we didn't have a word bank and it wasn't one of the last ones to do. But decide, is this foliated or non-foliated? If then move on to the next one, mineral alignment, banding, or non-foliated. Um, and honestly, go through process of elimination. So uh, cross off the ones we've already done. And this should there should only be one left in this category. So hopefully you know what rock D is. All right. And our... Our fifth and final rock, rock E, is this guy. And this one's going to be a little difficult to see in this direction if it's foliated or non-foliated. But when I turn it to the side, you should be able to see. Oh, no, can't see very well. All right, so this one, we can see the layers in the edges here. I'm not sure if you guys can get a good view of the layers, but when we look at the edges of this rock, there are layers here. So I'll give that as a hint. This one has layers. Uh, you got to decide, is that going to be mineral alignment banding or non-foliated for the next box? And again, through process of elimination, uh, slate, phyllite, nice, quartzite, and marble. This can only, be, there's only one left. So hopefully that is helps. All right, guys, congratulations. You have finished your rock lab. So make sure you've done the questions, you've done the reading, and the regions questions, the pre and post lab, and that should be a piece of cake for you. This should be much shorter than the rest. We kept it shorter. As always, you can message myself, Mrs. Ritz, Mr. Miga, or Mr. Winters, or Mr. D if you need any help uh, completing the lab. Let us know. And again, we have the five rocks. I'll close out the lab with a pretty picture. All right, see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.